Hello everyone, this is Mock, and I'm here with another video about Last Fortress Underground. What do we need to get Butcher and Huey? Let's see it in this video. But before we continue, if you like my video, don't forget to like it after watching it. You know I will be very grateful. Let's think that as we saw in my video about the estimate cost of getting Starlight to the max, we already have used what we got in the battle pass. We also know that through the free to play gaming experience, we will never get these heroes in combat quality. So knowing that, let's see what we will need to get Butcher and Huey. As we know, we need 22 hero charts in total to get them to Mystic and 3 stars. We have in the store these 1 in a lifetime offer bundles. Huey cost $9.99 and Butcher cost $25. So here we will be able to have one chart of each hero. If we go to the ascending menu and check the details, we will see that to ascend these heroes, we can use 8 of these spacetime charts. How we can get them? Well, as I said before, let's assume that we already use in Starlight the ones we got in the battle pass. So now we have in the store the Lucky Purchase Bundle. For $99.99, in addition to 300 spacetime recruitment points and 10 faction cards, will allow us to randomly get some of these rewards, among which we have spacetime pieces, which as we know, we can use 100 of them to get a spacetime chart. These pieces can also be obtained by buying these bundles, in the recruitment menu of the event. With them, in addition to the spacetime recruitment points, we will also get spacetime pieces with the $49 and the $9 bundles. With the $1 bundle, we won't get them. In the recruitment, we will have a 0.6% chance of getting Huey or Butcher, in addition to the fragments of the heroes. As we know, with 100 of them, we will get a chart of the hero. There are also these other things that, let's be honest, they are worthless. Let's remember that every day we will have a free pool and a second pool that will have half of the cost in spacetime recruitment points. The hero fragments can also be obtained in the exchange store using the bot badges, where also, as we spend badges, if you reach 60,000 points, you can get a selectable card of Yui or Butcher. The other place where we can get a spacetime hero chart is in the special training ranking, where depending on the position in the ranking at the end of the week, we can get a hero shard or fragments of them. These are for the moment our alternatives to get the necessary hero shards to ascend them to the max. As for the skills, we will need 925 skill medals and we can get them for now in the exchange and in the special training, both in the reward tiers and in the training ranking. Anyway, we must wait for the next few days and see what the next stage will bring us and what the store offers. Alright guys, I hope all this can be helpful for you. As always, join my Discord and follow me in my other social media. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so you know when I upload new content. This is Mock, I wish you all a great day, bye bye.